watch my preparation of my racket, my steps, and my posture. Okay? So I'm here. Boom. What did I do? You did two steps to the ball. Your poster was up and your hands were like ready. So if I summarize what you say, the moment I jump for my split step and I land forward, I have to turn because I identified that the ball is coming to my forehand side. Right now we do just forehands, yes? Yes. So after you land, immediately turn. Look my foot. It's the right foot. Mm -hmm. Land right. And then one, two, maybe two and a half, maybe three steps. Yes. That's it. Okay? Yeah. Up. Good. Jump higher. Go. Very good. Up. Very good. Up. Much better. Progression. Yes. Second ball is to your backhand. If you hit the ball, the forehand from here, you have to shift to the middle. Split step here, no back over there, here, and then you move forward. Uh, okay? Okay. Practice. Very good. Okay? The forehand is going to the center of the core. Yes. The backhand is going down the line. Uh. Okay? Yes? Yeah. Jump, go. Very good balance. Up. It's okay. I know the first instinct for you to go back. Okay, I want you to keep the line. Because ideally, you're gonna, if your first shot is good enough to push them back, yeah. they're gonna, the ball jumps to them, they're gonna play short over there look for chances to go full forward and then hit the ball. Okay. Progression after that is for you to follow the ball from here, do one, two and split step. That will be the next progression. Okay? Okay. So, I'll do it again. Go back a little bit. I will summarize it, okay? First variation. Bounce, hop, Moving, one, two, three, stop, staying low, back. Okay, got it? Progression, two, bounce, hop, land, step, here, hop, turn, boom. Go back. Okay? Yes. Third progression, we include the split step forward, assuming going forward for volley. Okay, here, hop, turn, hit, shuffle, hop, forward, one, two, hop, that's it, let's go, hop, hop, very good, two more times like that, okay? Up. Up. Better balance. Up. You try. Jump higher. Yes. Up. Very good. One more time. Up. 
<laughs> Hop. Good try. A little more speed. Go again. <coughs> Hop. Hop. Very good. Third progression. We're going to incorporate the split step. Okay, after hitting the backhand, one, two, split step. Got it? The more you're forward to close to the net, the better it is. Mm -hmm. Understood? Yes. Go. Up. Up. Follow, follow. One, two, yes. Have your racket in front. Go again. Hop, hop, follow, very nice, that's it, excellent, can you do wider your stand? Yes. Hop, hop, very nice, good posture, go again, one more time, Alex, that's very good. One thing, if the ball is here, the contact point with the forehand, you move this way. Don't come too much forward, okay? Uh. Up, good job. Up. Amazing. Do you understand why we do that? Yes. Why? So, in a point, you would have like an attacking shot. You would come in take a backhand since you're playing in the middle on them and then you would come up for a volley. Why you play down the line the backhand? Because then the opponent will give you a high one and then you can attack it with the volley. Why you don't play cross court the backhand? Because um, the volley goes to the backhand which, it, which is if he's righty then it's harder shot. Okay, but you're talking about the value or the approach yet? The, so the approach goes down the line. Well, why is, it goes down the line, not cross court? Because then if it would be cross court, we would have to move to the side and he would hit a passing shot. That's what I'm looking for. So it's more efficient for you as the aggressive player to go down the line. You're moving him, okay? And why do you do the checkpoint here? The split because, step. Because it's a more rarely chance that he's gonna go cross court, because he's in a tough position. So. You not uh, not really. Because you attack down the line, you have to follow the ball. Yes. If you play the back and approach at cross court, you should shift to the other side to do he be in this position here. So don't worry what he will do. You do your part to follow the ball. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. But the biggest part I try to do this exercise in is sequence from the warm-up, yes. catching the ball. Yes. Reaction, with the, maybe catch the ball with your hand, second yes. reaction. Now we do this incorporation Focus on the split step. How many split steps you did? Three. Three. Good, strong split steps. Okay. I'm conditioning your legs to stay wide, to be lively, and then pushing off. Okay. It's a controlling environment. It's a hand feeding. Do you understand? Yes. That's one part. The split step to be consistent. Secondly, very, very important, you don't collapse. You don't do like weird stuff with your upper body. You control in your body. Yes. Most of the time you play points freely or like a rally, you don't have good balance. I'm trying to help you to get a better balance when you move and how you move. Yes. Everything's calculated stepwise, split stepwise, and controlling the ball where it's going. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, do you need water? Yes. Get a quick water and come back. That's good. So, the first 20 
25 minutes of the practice today was mainly focusing on split step, balance and reaction. Uh, a lot of kids, including Alex, sometimes they don't do split step every time. They do it sometimes, sometimes they're fl flat footed, sometimes then they're on the wrong foot. We try to incorporate or condition the exercises so the muscle memory in the brain is consistently doing the same repetition and um, information wise and when they play they know exactly what to do. Now when you incorporate the warm-up with just catching the ball with the hand now have to be soft, have to be like you know elegant. Now I take the racket, I have to be elegant too. Now I have to hit the ball and I have to be very precise where I hit the ball. So there's a lot of thinking going on to the player. So we try to do multitasking exercises, but targeting a lot of probably one or two details, which is split step and balance. We don't want to do split step and move to the ball and the ball goes like, you know, everywhere. So we have to be very mindful about how to set up the racket, how to line up the upper body, what step goes first, do we do open stand, do we do close stand, a lot of details. And the earlier you introduce that, easier later, at 13, 14. We don't want to be having like 13, 14 year old boy or girl and say, okay, do split step. It happens, but if we're in that situation, it's too late we have to go back to basics at that age. So the earlier we start to introduce the importance of the split step and the balancing to the kids, the better it is. Okay, next one. You go further back. Okay. Go to the baseline. Same, but okay. I'm pushing you more back. Uh, okay? Okay. First ball. Middle. It's, nope. <laughs> Let me finish. Do you know the exercise, what we're doing? No. So, how can we play middle? We don't play always in the middle, right? Okay. It's back in the first one. Back is going cross court. Okay. Second ball is going to be to your forehand. The forehand is going... Where do you think? Down the line. Why? So like the, the opponent is hitting a cross court backing, thinking that we're gonna go cross court to run him. You think too much about the opponent than you. I want you as Alex to control the situation and yourself. I don't know what he's thinking. If you think too much how he's thinking, you think too much how skills wise to get to the ball and get them done, it's too much, you're overthinking. Okay, I want you to simplify it. Okay, let's assume you play a righty. So if you attack the ad side that is backhand, right? We want to target the backhand corner of this guy. So now it's tactic, it's more strategy. So I'm trying to simplify it. Just anything happens, deep ball, short ball, you're gonna attack the ad side to his backhand. Yes. Understand? Yes. So now, since you understand, you're gonna attack the ball there. Yes. You have one task, high split step. Yes. It's about tactics right now, okay? Split step, assume you got it. You assume you're gonna be jumping. You assume you're gonna hit the ball from here, you're gonna do split step here, and then you're gonna move slightly forward, yes. okay? The tactic part is, Let's assume you play against a righty. His backhand is on the other side. Yes. So we try to keep attacking his backhand corner. Yes. That's how we do that. Okay? So if you hear me saying you play someone, say Alex, attack his backhand corner. That's the type of exercise I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Okay? Let's go. <coughs> Stay back. Back. Up, higher jump. Up, very good. You hit the ball here? Yeah. I don't want you to go back, yes. Do you know why I would do that? 
Because you hit a hard shot, so you have to come in. No. Let me show you. Go together. Come here. Split step. Backhand, backhand. Hit. Strong. Boom. Let's assume you hit a very, very good backhand. Very pushing back. Heavy ball. Then he's, he's struggling. The ball is heavy. It's no sense for you. Watch, watch. Stay there. Look at me. If you go back and he gives you a short ball, you'll be late. But if from there, now shift the middle, here, and now he says short ball, okay, I'm going right away. And I'm going to attack him. Do you understand? Yes. So almost like a cat and mouse. Okay, he's, you get a good shot, boom, he's pulling back, go here. Look what's happening. If your shot from here is a little bit close to the service line, of course you're going to go back okay. to defend. Now it's like court coverage. Yes. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. Up. Up. Very good. Excellent. Do you realize you did split step on your own? I didn't have to tell you. Mm -hmm. So now naturally you push yourself going forward. Okay? Excellent. Very good. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Hop. Go. Hop. Fantastic. Very good. Go again. Hop. Hop. Very good. Nice form. I like your smile. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. All right. Go, hop. Hop. Very good. Get water. We're going to pick up some balls. Excellent. That was great. Uh, this variation now is more complete because we start from the baseline, try to move forward. Um, the other part behind the split step is get the kids more comfortable to come closer to the service line when they're dictating. A lot of times they have a great shot angles or push them back. They don't take the ball in the air, they're not comfortable enough, they don't take the short ball early enough to move quickly and they don't know what to do with it. So we try to condition scenarios why to play to the back and why to play down the line, how to play the ball heavy and deep. So when they have the tools, it's easier to execute it. So right now, we're moving to the tactical part besides the skills. We assume the skills is there. We assume the kid knows how to play topspin, heavy ball, how to play angle shot. Now we're moving like, you know, why to do that type of shot? What's the court coverage? Where do we stand? How can we get time away from the opponent? How can we be more efficient? steps wise because many kids they hit in the overrun they hit and they're leaning back so they have no time to go forward to take the ball early or to dictate on the short ball so we try to create scenarios and situations that alex can be more efficient with his movement be more sharper with the split step consistently remind him jump higher because naturally when they play competitively they go a little bit more conservatively with a split step and the movement. So in the practice, jump higher, do it more extreme is very beneficial. So he strength his ankles, the joints, the wider stand, apply all this information, and then feel comfortable to shift his body weight forward through the shot. Can we try me hitting the ball to you and you try to execute it? Yes. Okay, so before we do that, just collect uh, 50, 25 balls from the other side quickly. And then we'll do that. Yeah. I want to get more. Okay. So, you're going to start from this, the chalk line. Yeah. That's the baseline for the uh, orange. Orange yeah. ball. Okay. So, you're going to start with forehand first. Then you can be backhand. 
So high split step, shift to the center, high split step, forward, and do the split step. Okay. With the pretend you valley, okay? So first you go forehand. Yes. No, first you go split step forehand. Yes. Then you go to the side, split step backhand. Yes. And then you go split, split step. step. Yeah. Then you go. Yes, around. that's it. So every ball you hit, it comes to the odd side. Yes? Yes. What that means? All the balls go. So close your eyes. The core is here. Every ball goes to the odd side. For a second I forgot where the odd ad side is. You see the court? <laughs> you can come here to the middle. Okay. This is the court. Where is the odd side? Odd side? Yeah, odd side, yeah. So where the forehand goes? Um, that one. Okay, where the backhand goes? Cross court. Very good. And where do you do the split step? After the backhand? Um, forward. To the other side. You gotta follow the ball. See the trick now? Yeah. You don't just go down the line of the approach yet. You're going cross court because yeah. you attack the backhand corner. Yes. So, again, I change the question a little bit. I try to see if you can be engaged on it. Do you understand? Yes. Let's go. Show me. Smart. <laughs> Where do you start? Um, in the middle. Over there, where's the chalk line? Okay. Ready? Up. Go. Up. Follow, follow, follow. Very good. Hey, why are you spinning the right? Yeah? Here. Do that correctly. Understand? Yes. Up. Up. Stop. I would like to see both feet crossing the line. That's the split step. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. What? Where are you standing? Up. Go again. It's okay. Clear the ball, please. Up. Up. Move, 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 move. Much faster, right? That's the right play, but faster to get up the position there. Back. <coughs> Up. 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 Good. Make sure after the forehand shifts more to the middle, no diagonal forward, parallel to the service line. Back up. Up. Very good. Up. Follow, follow. Correct. Get us a good habit, both feet to be on the opposite side, okay? To the other side. Back up. Back up. Up. Move, move. To how many steps? Two. That was four or five. Yes? Yes. To make it more efficient, maybe longer steps for you to have more territory covered. Okay? Okay. Up. Up. That was the best one. Very good. Okay? Okay. Excellent. Can we do a few from the baseline, just ground strokes? Yeah. Uh, we'll have a little bit of time. I would like to have six or, or ten balls side to side, mm -hmm. but you're doing high split step every single time. Uh. Okay? Every ball you hit is going to the other side. 
So where the backhand goes? Cross court. And the forehand? That one. Very smart. Okay, let's go. Perfect. First ball goes to your backhand. Ah. Uh, okay. Kay. Before we start, can you clear the balls from the corner? Up. High jump every time. Up. Very good. Up. 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 Good try. Okay. All I'm focused on the split step. Okay. You're doing a good job. We can get a little bit wider the landing part, okay? Let's do that. Tie your shoelaces. Thank you. Yeah. So now to conclude the practice, I try to move Alex right and left. The first 45 minutes of the practice moving forward with a split step and moving forward, covering the court. Now we try to go side to side. So I'm looking for a good split step, crossover step to recover and good unit turn. So by doing that, we cover the whole area pretty much of the court. We know the back pretty much, moving backwards, moving forward then lateral movement. I try to progress from very close to the net and slowly going back and then move that way. Because many kids are comfortable from the baseline but not comfortable to, from the middle court or at the net. So Alex, we'll do another round. Good split step, a little bit wider, okay? And crossover step after hitting the shot. Oh. Okay? Okay. Those two details. Can you stay a little farther back? Thank you. Ready? Go. Up. 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 Very good. Up. Fantastic. Up. That's all I want. Excellent. Do you see how much better balance you have on your shots? Yes. Okay. The split step, hopefully, you can do it consistently. Even when you're tired, you have to remind yourself, jump, 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 and stay wider. That's going to help you to have better balance when you move to the difficult shot. And when you have time, you can drive the ball as you, want, as you like to, anywhere you want. Any questions? No. I like that. I mean, I try to be as simple and as straightforward with the exercises and a little bit thinking, but it seems like you understand after explaining to you. Okay. My biggest, not concern, but kind of thinking is don't make it too complicated. Don't try to have the smartest answer. Okay. Don't overthink what the opponent is thinking. Think what you can control as a player, as Alex. Yes. Got it? Yes. So, next time, high split step. Every yes. time, okay? Let's go. Let's get all the balls up. Very good. <laughs> no, that was great. Uh, I felt, watching also other kids, the split step is the major part that many kids are missing. It's not like the kids are slow or they you know, have good reaction or they have no explosivity. If the time is incorrect with a split step, then the reaction is late. But we have to condition all the time to do the on time, the right movement, the right length of the split step. And it can be fast split step or slow split step. Depends the speed of the ball coming to them. 
So there's like different progressions. But when you play with orange ball or green dots, uh, it's not that fast, the, the pace. Uh, when it comes to yellow and f older kids, like 12, 13, 14 and on, of course, the, the pace is different. But hopefully they're doing like an off-court training and they get stronger and they have more flexibility and strength to do the split step more efficiently on their own. But uh, the progression is there, now is a repetition, do it over and over until they get it.